Alrighty. Today's gonna be interesting. So, it's only like a thousand degrees outside. And you know, the kids want popsicles, so. Let's get some popsicles. But these just won't do. They're not, they're not good enough for my pickle-loving children. So we're gonna make some popsicles. I don't have a popsicle mold, so we're gonna use shot glasses. Because, you know, hey, what's wrong with that? First things first, so we have our two shot glasses. Um, we have some pickle juice from another jar of pickles. Uh, the jar of pickles I have is kind of brand new and I don't want to use all the juice out of it. And our pickles. These are, um, again, the same pickle you did last time. They're just homemade pickles. Just, this is a brown jar that looks kind of, kind of wonky. So we take our jar of pickles, I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, this is my jar of pickles so I can stick my fingers in if I want to. Yeah, that's mine. Mmm. Alright. Mmm. Get some pickles out of there. Come on camera, focus. Thank you. Alright. All we're going to do, you can use a food processor, but, you know. For the sake of a video, I don't want to make too much noise, so we'll just chop these a little bit. Nothing too fine, you know, you want to have a, a chunk in there so you have something to nibble at. Alright, and there's your uh, your pickle bits. Sound good? Sounds good. Alright, cool. So we're going to take and load these. If you're using an actual popsicle mold, I'd say fill it all the way at the top, or however much pickle you want in it, you know. I like pickle. It's going all the way in. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that right there. Just, oh, I'm going to make a mess here, aren't I? Or just lose it back on the cutting board. There we go. Uh, go ahead and grab that little bit there. Bam! Uh-oh. No pickle left behind. Okay. There are two. Now, as you can see, they're a good bit full. I'm just going to top them off with a little juice. You know, pickle juice is the best. Top it off about like that. I don't want to fill up too much. There we go. Next, we're going to take a little plastic wrap. Not a whole terrible bunch because, you know, these tiny glasses. Just enough to make two covers for them. Which will make sense here in just a second. Toothpicks. I don't prefer using toothpicks that have like a, a, a pigment to them. The issue being is that whenever you put these toothpicks into a liquid, it tends to transfer the color into whatever you're, you're making. So, now, pop those in the freezer. Take these two little bad boys right here. Oh, uh oh. Just pretend that we don't have a whole basket of popsicles or, or Mickey Mouse ice cream or this basket of popsicles or any of this ice cream <laughs> uh, we'll come back in a little while oh, my freezer is disgusting that's good all right a few moments later well it's the next day because apparently pickle popsicles don't freeze as fast as I thought they would so uh, All you gotta do now, unwrap them suckers. Figure out how to get them out of your container. See a little crack right there? Just kind of, and there we go. Look at that. A pickle popsicle, what you doing? The little chunks of pickle in there.
That's a nice touch. I hope you uh, pickle enthusiasts try this out. That shit good though. All right. Get my pickle pops and grass. See y'all later.